So Cheaper Cash has introduced some new rules that now govern their Cheaper Cash card. Come here, come here, come here, come here. And if you're not serious, this can lead to your card getting deactivated. What's up? Welcome to the channel. My name is Lettuce and it's such a great honor to have you here. Now, uh, in a quick nutshell, uh, Chipper Cash has introduced new rules that govern their Chipper Cash card. If you don't know what I'm talking about, check out one of these cards that's appearing here on how to create a Chipper Cash card, why you need to have one, and also why it is good to have you know, a Visa card online that's not linked to your bank account. Now, Chipper Cash card has been one of those things that I have personally used for a very, very long time. And uh, I must say, I've been enjoying the service until they recently dropped a new set of rules that can actually even lead to the card being cancelled. So um, going over to the uh, actual notification that they did push out here, I noticed that um, using the cheaper cash card one has become a lot more expensive uh, because now they're introducing a couple of things and also it becomes easier for them to easily uh, cancel the card. Now let's just go right here, here to the official announcement that they did send out. They did send out a couple of uh, notifications on social media and also so on the app, here is a particular a screenshot from uh, the app that I took, Christian from Chipakashia, and basically the headline here is revised fees. Now, if we look at uh, part one, it says card issuance is now 8,000 shillings per card. When I was first created my Chipakash uh, card, I don't think it was that expensive, and now it is 8,000 shillings per card. So each time you go and claim for a new card, you know that is 8K off your account. Two, your minimum card maintenance fee is 8,000 shillings. So, and this is per month. That means every single month, cheaper cash will take off 8,000 shillings for maintaining your visa card. Now, these are things that were not there earlier. Earlier, you you know, have your card, run it, just put it there and even forget it exists. Like what I've been personally doing for my online accounts. I had my cheaper cash card linked to online accounts like uh, Amazon Prime and uh, Netflix and all of those. And I would just have it there and, you know, I'd put money when I wanted to pay. But now with this new um, revised fee structure, every single month, you know, they're going to take 8,000 shillings off um, your cheaper cash card, you know, as a maintenance uh, fee uh, per month. Now, I don't know if all these changes are happening throughout Africa or throughout places where cheaper cash is, but uh, what I'm basically looking through is the announcement that was given for Uganda, particularly cheaper cash Uganda. Let's continue from here. So card funding fee is now 5% for the funding amount. Yeah, this is beginning to feel a lot more like what the banks have been doing. You, I, I, I personally ran away from using my Visa card from the bank online because of these crazy, crazy fees. But now Chipper is also beginning to do the same thing. So card funding fee is now 5% of the funding amount. And then there's a card withdrawal fee. Basically, when you're getting the money off your Visa card to your wallet, it's within the same app really from your cheaper cash visa card to your cheaper cash wallet now takes two percent of the transaction value and then there's also a um, card withdrawal fee this is basically for funds received via visa direct like if somebody pays you directly then they're going to take 10 percent of the transaction of value now i'm beginning to feel like these kind of amount when you keep putting one after the other 8,000 to you know create the card 8,000 to maintain it every month then again you're taking crazy percentages and it's just becoming crazy now if just continuing with the, the, the percentage theme here international transaction fee is five percent of the transaction amount and then domestic transaction fee is two percent now this makes things a little bit more expensive to be honest um i recently made a purchase online and i noticed um, the conversion rate I was being given because you know you go you tap into Google conversion rate US dollar to Uganda shillings and the conversion rate was about 3750 so what I did is I multiplied at a rate of 4000 Uganda shillings for the amount I wanted to transact and when I tried to transact it still said I had insufficient balance I think you notice how just expensive it becomes because if the ordinary fee is 3750 at that time and I end up paying at about 4450 um, you know that difference is quite big just because of these fees here that are now being slapped onto the card. 
Now this year is not really the bit that um, is a little bit more concerning. Now there is a new uh, feature they have also implemented whereby if your card gets um, a particular number of declined transactions, your card gets um, it, it gets retracted, like they deactivate the card in question. Now this here, the problem is that they don't really tell you how many uh, transactions. Like there's no like a countdown. I wish there was like a countdown where they're like you have ten declined. Now you have nine, now you have eight. If those like that kind of countdown would actually help very many because you end up with a situation whereby you're using your Visa card and you uh, put it on, let's say, three or four different subscription services. Maybe you have a Netflix on there, you have Hulu on there, Amazon Prime, and um, a couple of other subscription services. You cannot keep track of all of them. Remember, all of them bill on different debts. So I cannot really say that, you know what, Netflix is for this day. Now, out of the blue, we just keep getting these notifications. Your card has been declared. Your card has been declined. I know the cheaper has got to make some money somehow on this whole online service, but I feel like they're pushing it a little too far. Like the fees feel like they're a bit crazy. However, I was discussing this with a couple of friends and they're like, hey, at least for cheaper cash, they come out and actually tell you this is what we are charging. This is how it is getting charged. For others, it is silent. You just get slapped with crazy transaction fees and you don't know where your money disappears. At least, okay, we'll give them the check, a bit of uh, kudos for being transparent and telling us how the money is going. But I feel like the, 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 it's, it's a little high because like now, for instance, um, International transaction fee of 5%. Come on. How many people do you know get a visa card to pay a fellow person in Uganda? Like, it doesn't compute. Of course, by the time I'm organizing and getting a visa card, I have to do an international transaction. So if you're billing me 5% of that transaction, I feel it's a little bit on the high end. I don't know. Let's talk about this in the comment section. How do you feel about this? Do you feel it is a fair uh, uh, pricing by cheaper cash charging us 5% for international transactions? Or do you feel it's a little bit on the high end? Drop comment in the comment section and let's discuss this a little bit further. Now, that basically is it uh, in terms of uh, the revisions. Now, the revisions came into uh, effect. That was on Thursday, June 6, 2024. I personally didn't notice them until recently when the uh, the transaction started biting me and I'm like, hey, why a minute? Why is the, why are the money is not, you know, adding up? And uh, basically that is it. So these revisions on the card um, is what is out there. So in case you feel and you've been transaction, transacting with a cheaper cash visa card and you feel the transactions have become a little bit more costly, this is the reason as to why. And now you have to make sure every month your account has 8,000 shillings for cheaper cash to literally take to themselves well that is it uh, let's drop to the comment section let me know what do you think about the new uh, charges on a cheaper cash visa card and is it still worth it or do you know of any alternative that one can use you see we are helping each other here we're helping each other here and i really love it when you my viewers come back and give us feedback on what exactly um you know what you have tested and then we get to get onto the bandwagon and so if you have an alternative that you feel that hey i used this visa card service for an online visa card and it was way cheaper than what you're going um through right now do let me know in the comment section i shall definitely check it out but for now i think let's wrap this video up here thank you so much for watching my name is Linus, and i shall see you in the next video remember to always subscribe hit the like button share and drop a comment it really pushes us really really far thanks so much for watching once again i shall see you in the next one bye bye